Hi guys, this is your school bus driver. Now we're going to do our interior pre-trip with our new trainee, Judo the Driver. So the first thing that I would check for in my pre-trip is my emergency equipment. So I have three red reflective triangles behind me. My fire extinguisher, properly charged and rated. There is no first aid kit on this bus. I have spare fuses. All right, so I'm gonna check my seatbelt. It is securely mounted. It adjusts, latches properly with no rips or frays. I will check the rest of my seats Belts. the same way. I will now perform my safe start. Turning my key, one click forward. Waiting for the ABS light to come on and then go off. I will now start my bus. This completes my safe start. My heaters are working properly. My defrost works properly. My student cross the mirrors are clean and properly adjusted. My traffic mirrors are clean and properly adjusted. My student mirror is clean and properly adjusted. My windshield is clean with no illegal stickers, no obstructions, and no damages to the glass. My wipers, arms and blades are secured, not damaged, operate smoothly with fluid. My horn works properly. Okay, I'm now gonna perform my indicator light check. In order to do that, I'm gonna turn on my headlights, turn on my master flasher, my alternating flashing amber warning indicator lights are working properly on the monitor and the dashboard. My alternating flashing Red warning indicator lights are working properly on the monitor and on the dashboard. My stop sign is securely mounted to the frame. With no loose fittings or damages. The lights are clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. Student crossing arm operates properly my stairwell light is clean with no brakes functional and proper color my service door operates properly from the inside closes securely my handrails are secure my stairwell is clear and my stairwell treads are not loose or excessively worn. Back to my indicator light check. My left turn signal indicator light works properly on the monitor and on the dash. My right turn signal indicator light works properly on the monitor and the dashboard. My four-way flasher indicator lights are working properly on the monitor and on the dashboard. My high beam indicator light works properly on the dashboard. My 
brake light indicator lights are working properly on the monitor. My tail light indicator lights are working properly on the monitor. And my backing light indicator lights are working properly on the monitor. I will now check my gauges. We're gonna start off with my oil pressure gauge. Oil pressure gauge is functional. Oil pressure is normal with no warning light. My temperature gauge is functional, climbing to a normal operating range with no temperature light. And my voltmeter is showing that the alternator is charging with no warning light. Okay, uh, I will now perform my hydraulic brake test. Pumping my pedal three times. One, two, three, holding for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. My brake pedal did not move. My hydraulic pressure is good. Okay, I will now perform my service brake test. Putting my bus in gear and releasing my parking brake. I'm gonna let the bus coast up to five miles per hour. Coming to a complete stop. My bus did not pull to the left or to the right and it stops correctly. My service brakes work properly. Okay, I will now perform my parking brake test, making sure my parking brake is on. I will put the bus in gear. I'm gonna rev up to a thousand RPMs. The bus did not move. My parking brake is working properly. disarm my student alarm. I'm going to turn off my headlights, turn off my master flasher, turn the bus off, and then go one click to the left. Take my seat belt off. I'm going to press the button, the reset button, hold it down for a few seconds. My student alarm is disarmed. My auxiliary brake test. I'm going to click the key on the off position, apply my foot to the brake, listening for the system motor. I heard it loud and clear. My auxiliary backup system works properly. Okay, I'm now going to be checking my seat frame. Seat frame is firmly attached to the floor with no damages. My seat cushions are securely attached to the seat frame with no damages. Okay, and I'm going to check the rest of my seats the same way. Now I'm going to check my student seat belt. It is securely mounted. Properly adjusts and latches with no rips or frays. I'm going to check the rest of my student seat belts the same way. So my emergency exit window has no damages. Operates smoothly with a functional warning device and closes securely. My emergency exit window has no damages. Operates smoothly with a functional warning device and closes securely. My emergency exit door has no damages. Operates smoothly with a functional warning device and closes securely. My emergency exit hatch has no damages.
operates smoothly with a functional warning device and closes securely. My emergency exit hatch has no damages. Operates smoothly with a functional warning device and closes securely. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my key to the off position, put them in my pocket. My service door can also be used as an emergency exit. This completes my interior pre-trip.